with Charles last weekend on the factory craft tour, so we know he's a safe driver. He'll get us there safely. Um, this is the World War II tour. We're first heading to the uh, Naval Underground Headquarters. And after we stop there for a visit, we'll be going to the Cave of the Virgins, uh, having a stop for lunch after that. And then our afternoon will be at the Suicide Cliffs and Malbuni Hill and the Peace Memorial. And we intend to get back around 4 o'clock or a few minutes before 4 o'clock back to the Shelly Rec Center, depending on how the traffic and everything goes. So what I'd like to do first is I have some information, pamphlets to pass out so you can take a look at an overall view of what happened here on the war. Um, we do have... government was created and the first governor was appointed by the military government. 1951, the provisional central government of the Ryukus was created and the first chief executive was appointed and the University of the Ryukus established U.S.-Japan Peace Treaty was signed. Oh, is that right? I didn't know you could hear. I better keep my mouth shut. You're hearing everything. <laughs> and also in 51, the U.S. was given the right to administer the Ryukyu Islands. In 58, we went with the conversion of currency from the military script to the U.S. dollar. And then since 1972, May 15th, uh, the reversion of Okinawa has been back to the Japanese. So 72, so that's 16 years. Sites, and then she writes up articles, and, and they're always in Okinawa today. And she always seems to 
to visit the sites that Schilling Rec Center is doing on the tour, so it's really helpful. So if you ever see an Okinawa today, you might even want to pick them up and keep some back copies or some information in case you go to any of these places. But this was her article on the old Japanese underground headquarters. Unless you were in Okinawa during the final days of World War II, it's hard to cite where the Imperial Navy Admiral and his 4,000 men committed suicide near the final days of the war. It's kind of shocking to think that 4,000 men committed suicide here in this area. This mass suicide was the result of a firm belief of the Japanese soldiers China Sea out on that side.
sealed room? Same well, it must be the back door to it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Well, that's what I was wondering is how they would vent those things if they were uh, if they were gas powered. So this guy's right. He says they were probably uh, hand crate generators. Hand crate. Yeah. by blowing themselves up with hand grenades. On June 13th, 1945. And, and a friend just walked right into our picture and squatted down, waiting for a bus. You guys about ready to hit it? On June 13th. Yeah, sure. Okay, Susan, where are we? This is the Cave of the Virgin. Okay. Southern Island. Southern part of Okinawa. And what's significant about Cave of the Virgin? Well, the student nurses and teachers were hiding out in here and they heard about the Cave of the Virgin. And they were hiding out in here and they heard about the military men coming and they got so scared about their awful reputation that they had to commit suicide. They felt that was the only way out was to oh, yeah. avoid the ravages of war. They committed suicide, huh? Japanese women. Suicide was probably better than rape. Well, within the Japanese mindset at the time, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah. Now, where is the actual cave? The actual cave is right. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. Oh, Oh, Yeah, isn't this pretty? You get a view from here. Yeah, this is yeah.
almost expected the two. There's Bill with his soki soba and, and my yasai soba. How is it, Bill? Oishi desu, huh? Well, what a view. Another view of the East China Sea. We're down at the almost near the southern tip of the island. Still on the southwest, on the west coast, we're on the southwest end of the island. Still near uh, Mabuni Hill and Suicide Cliffs now. Very nice garden out in the backyard. <laughs> backyard replete with artillery emplacement, right? And there's Mick enjoying a oriental cuisine meal here. Yasai soba wa oishi desu. Ichiban. You want to hear that I love feeding my face with a camera on me. Look, do I have a little slobber here? There's a little remnant of the meal there, Mick. But in the background here, beautiful view of the ocean on the left. Anyway, visible from here. I think she's a bigger artillery. I bet they pounded the heck out of something with that, huh? It looks like they had a pretty good view of uh, the what's going on here. That's the Peace Memorial right there. Uh, right. Yeah. With the seven sides, with the seven continents and the seven seas. Okay. And uh, why is this out of focus? Buddha, oh, there a lacquerware Buddha inside that we're going to see. Oh, is that big guy? Yeah. He is a big guy too. Is this Mabuni Hill here in yeah. front of us? Uh -huh. Yeah. This is Mabuni Hill. It's a whole uh, Peace Park area. Yeah. But to walk up the cliffs, I mean, you really have to come down here for a half of a day or so and climb all around. Up there, jump. Looks like there's some uh, holes in this rock. I bet those are from probably some of the rock. Yeah. Holes in the rock, right? Yeah, right over here, you see a bunch of. No, oh, where are you talking about? The other side, there's a little. Mm -hmm. There's a rock right on the oh, other side. You can see. Oh, over there. Oh. What, this right here?
Oh, you took it? southernmost part of the island where the East China Sea and the Pacific Ocean come together just beyond the Peace Memorial just beyond the Peace Memorial and the cliffs is the ocean again 